everybody, and welcome to Mundoid, your one-stop shop for all things Project Zomboid. And this week, we have a blog post titled, The Road to Build 9. And a lot like last week, it's actually a relatively smaller blog post, but there's actually some important things I want to talk about here, which is kind of surprising, seeing that there's not much to really kind of digest and tear apart, but it just brings up something that I'm actually kind of really excited about, and I talked a little bit about last week. Uh, but let's just dive right into it. So essentially what they're saying here is that the road to build 9 is fixing a lot of bugs. There's a lot of bugs to be fixed off uh, that, that they haven't quite finished up from last week. Um, and the three, or actually there's four big kind of points they hint at, or not hint at, but outright talk about. And um, what the very first thing they talk about is there's still some compatibility issues ever since going on to Desura. Desura um, has basically brought in an influx of new players, and with the new players comes compatibility issues that the closed testing groups and the, the forum public testing groups haven't really come across before because the wide range of players is now much wider. And with that comes a lot of other things they need to work on, um, which is good. And to be honest with you, the idea of of new players is actually really exciting. In fact, the next four points they talk about all are basically cropping up because of the new wide range of player base. Um, so one of the things I want to say is that I highly expect the next update or the next few updates to take a little bit longer than the ones that we've seen kind of come out ever since the form release of 2.9 and the, again the reason is they have to make sure that the game is working in the in the top notch kind of high working order they need it to work with a much wider audience base being on Desura. Now, of course, with Desura, that's still very much the alpha-funded ideal, uh, so you're still going to have bugs and whatnot. It doesn't need to be that crisp, clean release that it has to be for Steam, but it still needs to work much more so than if it was just straight-up forum releases, and that's totally okay. The next, actually, point they talk about is actually save compatibility, and again, that has to go back to Desura and the new players. With it being on Desura now, they can't really risk uh, updating the game and, and destroying somebody's save file. That's just not something that can really happen anymore. Um, sure, it could happen on the blog post because if you... If there's always a warning, you know, with this update, your the save from the last one won't work, so download at your own risk. So you had the option to just stick with the older build and continue playing your old game, or download the new one and know that your game is not going to work anymore. But with Desura, that's not actually an option. If they update it and the game and the saved game doesn't work anymore, uh, no one has a choice. It's going to break the game one way or another, and that's not something they can really do. It has to make, they have to make sure that the save game is compatible because that could upset a whole lot of people who have, you know, potentially hours and hours and hours invested into a particular save. And to unwillingly lose that save because of an update to Desura uh, due to some bug fixes and, and maybe even breaking a few things along the way just isn't isn't possible. Um, it's just not something that can they can kind of sit on and say, okay, well, we're just going to break people's saves by updating the game. Uh, so that's totally something they need to work on, and they're talking about how they fix something that was going to break saves but no longer is, and again, leads to that whole, okay, we're still working on build 9, it's taking longer than expected, we're sorry, but again, with, with the game now being out onto Sura again, it, it kind of has to be that way, and I'm okay with that. Uh, the third point they talk about is actually the tutorial. Um, a lot of people on my videos lately uh, have been asking a lot of kind of basic questions. How do you walk through windows? How do you loot zombies? Are zombies lootable now? Why don't you use a gun? Is the bat, why do you drop the bat right away? Is the bat broken? Etc. 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 How do you swing? How do you attack? Um, so one thing they're actually working on, I know they've been working on for a while now, is, is some sort of basic tutorial system in the absence of the Kate and Bald Spot story. And it's hopefully going to answer a lot of questions, particularly stuff like how do you climb through windows and whatnot. And that's one of the things they're also working on because, again, it goes right back to new players and Desura. We are now at a much larger audience of players who have never played this game, which is kind of hard to believe, seeing that I've been kind of uploading videos for this game for the past year and a half, and we've had the kind of the same audience, and now suddenly we're growing a lot more uh, as a community. So with much, much wider range of players, there needs to be some sort of explanation as to how things work. They're not nearly as... Uh, simple as they were back in the 1.5D demo build. God, remember that thing? 
So with the game becoming more complicated and things happening more, um, this is just something that kind of it has become a necessity for the team to put into the game. Uh, a simple way for players to kind of learn the game's uh, more intricate mechanics of surviving. Uh, so that's that's going to be uh, one other thing they're working on. And then essentially there's just general fixes is the fourth point they're talking about. A lot of general bugs uh, that they're working on. And then they kind of just talk about a uh, big thanks to everyone who's played, streamed, YouTube, otherwise made everything we do worthwhile. I mean, if you think about it, this game um, with the Desura release has actually grown quite significantly. Um, Yogg's Cast Sips actually did a, uh, a live I think it was a live stream of like an hour to two hours of this game. And I even, I saw kind of like a, uh, the remnants of, of a push of that after he did that cast my, my channel has, he has seen a huge upswing in activity. And I can only imagine it's because of the people who saw the game, liked the game, wanted to know more about the game and searched for it on YouTube. And since I've been doing it for like a year and a half to two years now, I've seen quite the influx of people, which is actually awesome. So if you're one of those new people, welcome. Uh, you've definitely found one of the coolest survival games in existence right now and that's uh, something not to take lightly it's a, it's a it's a love project of the indie stone who've gone through a lot of ups and downs and if you're one of those new people uh we welcome you with open arms we're a really cool community and there's a lot to see and a lot to do here in Muldrow. so uh other than that road to build nine uh that is pretty much it for the news there's not much going on again a little bit more than they than last week and, and particularly a lot to talk about as far as the new community into Sura and whatnot, and what that means as far as updates go. So yeah, keep that all in mind. Updates are probably going to be a little bit longer than your typical update would have been otherwise, but that is because we have a lot more of, a, of an audience, and you can only imagine what's going to happen when this game hits Steam. I mean, I feel like this is an egg just waiting to hatch, and once it hits Steam, we're going to see a very interesting and a very exciting new audience come to the to the table. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this Mundoid. If you're one of those once-a-weekers, I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope I've been able to uh, break down and, and kind of open up some generally fun discussion for everybody to talk about. Uh, if you're the regular, I shall see you later on today in another episode of whatever the hell I'm going to follow this video with. And if you're a new person, I encourage you to stick around and, and, and watch some other stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff here, particularly a lot of Zomboid to watch. And if you want to know the ins and outs of how this game works, I'm hoping I can do that for you. Thank you guys so much for swinging by this Mundoid, and I will see you all next time.